How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael S.K., and welcome back to Steins Gate Linear Bounded Phenogram. In the last episode, we saw Alpaca Man in action, and he, I guess you could say he defeated 4 degrees Celsius, but he wasn't done. He went on a rampage and just caused a bunch of trouble. So, Okabe, deciding not to be a lazy piece of shit this time, is taking the information that he got out of 4 degrees Celsius being an asshole yet again, and in order to prevent him, he went back in time, and he's probably going to stop him as Alpaca Man. And again, I don't think stealing food, you know, would lead to a death penalty of any sort. <laughs> Jesus. My exaggerated laughing is an attempt to shake off how sick I feel after leaping through time. I feel bad for Dadu, but I can't transform into Alpaca Man unless I'm working solo. I rush to the center of Akihabara. And we better hurry the fuck up, you know? Gotta turn into the hero of justice. Oh man, he didn't stretch before he went running, man. Even I know that you're supposed to stretch before and after a good run. Well, she's on a bike. Well, what the fuck do you expect, man? Suzuha casually hops off her bike, having taken a back route to circle around them. だ、そうじゃ。いざという時のために準備しておくんだ。裏切られて奴らに情報が渡ると<笑> Yeah, you're one to talk, brother. Yeah, like you're one to talk. ということで、食い逃げ班、覚悟だよ。ふっ。女一人で何ができる。行くぞ。At <laughs> 4 or at 4 degrees Celsius command, sorry. Uh 5 degrees Celsius and 6 degrees Celsius leap towards Suzuha. I'm really trying too hard with their names. Yeah, they're gonna get the shit beaten out of them. Wow. Such action. And they're swiftly defeated. Oh no. Wait, Mayuri is here too? What the hell? Lukako and Mayuri just happen to be passing by, and 4 degrees Celsius attacks them. After grabbing Lukako's body from behind, he sticks a stun gun against his white neck. He's being held hostage. <laughs> As if to show off its power, sparks fly from the stun gun. <laughs> Koitsuga out of a gun, Chuka. 
俺の理性にサイドブレーキはないんだぜ The part-time warrior bites her lip in disgust. But with two people now taken hostage, there's not much she can do. I'm so glad that we gave his lackeys actual names here. <laughs> so they're not just A and B. I mean, it's not really much any different. We're still kind of giving them numbers, but he started it. <laughs> the part time warrior doesn't move a muscle. She'd never betray her friends. Lukako tries to flee from 4 degrees Celsius in an attempt to stop Suzuha from getting beaten up. And then in the process, 4 degrees Celsius uses his stun gun on him, resulting in Lukako being knocked unconscious. That's what's supposed to happen. But I reject that future. Huh? <laughs> Here he comes. A voice erupts from an unexpected direction. Everyone turns their attention to a photo booth in a side alley. The curtains fly open, and appearing from within is up. Oh, here's the intro N again. Nanda. It's gonna start with the side profile first. Here it comes. Yep, there it is. With the, with the echoing effect, then the other side. There we go. Yes, the womb. Oh, oh no, Andy's first, and then he's gonna say the womb. Okay, there we go. I really hate that I'm kind of getting the whole pattern here, Dan. It's only been, what, like four episodes? Four degrees Celsius' dumbfounded reaction exposes him as a true fool. Sorry, but I don't have time to waste on petty villains. My moves are fluid like water, thanks to my many repeated attempts over different time leaps. There's no way that 4 degrees Celsius can react fast enough. In mere seconds, I managed to remove the salsa from my coat and pull the trigger. <laughs> the salsa from the P-38 rains down upon 4 degrees Celsius. His body is drenched in red liquid, almost as though he had spit up blood. What's <laughs> this? The stun gun in his hands is covered in salsa. Try as he might. It's not easily removed. His weapon's been rendered useless. Four degrees Celsius throws the now useless stun gun aside. I was gonna say, like... You know, Okabe might not be able to, you know, defeat him here, or beat him up or anything like that. He'd get his ass kicked. But Suzuha, on the other hand, you know, she's still here. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> not again. It's no money. Suzuha-san, 
僕は大丈夫でしたしダメだよこういうのは体で覚えさせてあげないとシシュハズ as calm as can be her tone akin to a dog trainer or something and that calmness is exactly what's so terrifying さあお祈りは先に済ませたかな<笑>はい。すごいんだよアルパカマンあれは訓練された人間の動きだったねまるで相手の次の動きが見えてるみたいだったよ<笑>うわうそうかそうかそりゃすごいいいなあ憧れちゃう私もいつかアルパカマンになろうかなやめとけおやいざんきゃい<laughs> Part time warrior's expression freezes instantly. Mr. Braun's eyes are filled with murderous intent, no doubt due to Suzuha's abandoning of work. Uh, Mr. Braun points inside the store. There's a TV still on inside the Brown Tube workshop, weirdly enough. And on the screen is 4 degrees Celsius. Hanny was a Jew shop and a Jew shop. He was 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 a Jew shop. A tough spot. The reporter on TV continues almost as if they're answering my question. You know what? I actually watched a video about this. I'm sure if you、uh, search something up on YouTube about this. You'll, you'll find the same video I did. I don't even know how the fuck I came across it. But apparently, people are actually living in these like net cafes. You know, the ones that you see in anime that they actually exist.、Um, one of them said that she kind of lives there because she likes to be around people. It makes her feel safe instead of being alone in her own like home.、Uh, but others, they report like, you know, it's just so expensive. So they kind of just like, rent out these little. You know, cubicle spaces, and you know, that, that's their home. It's insane. It, it really makes you think, you know? Anyways, back onto this. Yeah, he might be a victim of society, completely understandable. However, however, he's an asshole. Four degrees Celsius wasn't acting like a villain because he wanted to. He ran from Sanpo today because he didn't have money. And he didn't have money because I interfered with his job with the scalper. If he'd been able to earn a paycheck there, he wouldn't have had to commit the crime. Which makes me the reason why he did all of this. Commander Alpaca's right. As a hero of justice, I punished the villain as four degrees Celsius. But was that something I actually had to do? 
With the time leap machine, couldn't I have just prevented him from resorting to crime in the first place? Instead of trying to be a hero of justice, shouldn't I be trying to aim for a world that doesn't need one? A world where e evil isn't born in the first place? Okari! Oh, Mayurika. I didn't even notice her standing behind me. また正義の味方になりに行くんだね。今度は悪い奴を助けるために行くんだ。分かってる。やっぱりオカリンは優しいね。Yeah. her just lay it out there like that is kind of embarrassing for me. I awkwardly ignore her comment and wave. Matana. Bayuri. You know, I still ship those two. If Kirisu isn't in the picture, for whatever reason, you know, childhood friend all the way. I remove my alpaca mask and equip the headgear. Off we go yet again. It's time to defeat the true evil. Vamanos, amigos. Damn, we are going back to the morning. <sighs> The summer sunlight has yet to start warming the air. The lively chirps of sparrows in the early morning are like music to my ears. I don't want to see Nai cry. That's why I started this series of time leaps to begin with. Damn, I'm loving this. There's already a long line in front of Yodobashi Kamara. Logically thinking, most of them might be or must be part timers hired by the scalper. I am, but we're going to be the only ones who can. There aren't going to be enough for the kids lined up behind us. I refuse to accept this. We have mail! It's... It's this again. Why... Why is it that we gotta keep responding to this? Um... Here, let's actually go with, uh... Uh... Let's go with decisive battle. Let's... Let's, you know, pry into what she knows. Why not? Even so, I'm sure... We already know what she's talking about. I leave Nai in line and rush toward the station. Um Wait, why Lukako though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that might be true. My god, you know, Daru has really stepped up his game in this title. Holy shit. And not in a good way. Before the time leap, I had Daru look up the address of the scalper. They're the true mastermind behind this. If I crush their organization, I can avoid a situation in which those children don't get a copy of the game. But in order to do that, I needed to obtain info about them. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, 
。でヘッダーは、お、生 IP いただきました。すでに旅の匂いが漂ってきたお。くんかくんかくんか。Jesus Christ, dude. Daru's only just started hacking, and yet the CPU is already clocked up. I don't know what he intends to do with Lukaku's used socks, but as long as I, as long as I keep time leaping, I won't ever have to find out. You poor, poor super hacker. Yo, she eeked that. Umaku it that I ought to kiss the steer to cut a no. So no mummy, so no mummy. Bingo! Juice your hammock, the cole! Oh, hi, I know. <笑>ウィザード級のハッカーを舐めてもらっては困るよさすがミソジドテ魔法を使えるなんて違うっつうの、yeah, not 30. まあ荷物のやり取りもあるしそんなに隠しても仕方ないんだと思われ Valid point They're probably shipping out goods from that location でどうする I just realized that I think the 30 year old version that he was talking about is the scalper. Okay, well, I'm slow. どうするってこういう組織って叩けば誇りが出るのが普通っつうか。セキュリティはザルだし、メールボックスくらいはすぐに覗けるんじゃねちょっと探せばすぐヤバめな資料出てくると思うけど。<笑> Daru, yap the smogai. Yeah, do it. Akibani school, Akro Soskio, Korejo no Sabara Seta, Oken no da. I guess there we go. Then we went back in time and completely erased all of that from happening. I know what I'm doing isn't exactly something to brag about infiltration, illegal hacking. But in the name of justice, I've decided to get my own hands dirty. You mean alpaca man's, you know, hands.、Uh, radio Kaiken stands tall before my very eyes, or the radio building, whatever you want to call it. This is where the scalper's warehouse is. Interesting. Tenga yobu. God damn it. Tsuka yobu. <laughs> He's whispering this fucking、Andes、shit. Ka yobu. God damn it, dude. Akiba ga unda naza no hero. Why? <laughs> I put on my alpaca mask, quietly introduce myself, and enter the building. I don't really know what the point was. It's already been a year since that satellite fell from the sky. Oh shit, alright. It's gone now, but the building's tenants are still being forced to suspend their businesses. That said, there's one office and warehouse still in use. The scalper must have gotten a hold of them. We have mail, and I won't let you. I won't let you say you forgot. I've been waiting all this time to get my revenge ever since she fled overseas. No matter what you think, Okabedi and Tudo, you can't stop me. Huh? What the fuck? What the. Well, I'm more aware than anyone that you're impossible to stop once you get started, part time warrior. Yeah, we, I'm gonna go with this. I think she's referring to Kirisu. I think. I don't know. Apparently, they've been renting the warehouse since winter last year. I'm very confused as to what world line this actually could be. Because we have. The stuff that would get the organization,、uh, CERN, on our asses. And also, if this was the Alpha World line, Mayuri would have to die. If it was Beta, Kirisu would have been dead. So it's been a year, and we have the things that Kirisu built. Only she could build those. But I don't know. I finally reached my target. There's a numerical lock on the door. Thanks to Daru's ace hacking, I already know the code. I unlock the door after inputting the correct sequence. I push it open and. Yahari. 
そうか。Inside the warehouse are stacks of games and dojin just waiting to be purchased at a high price. A quick glance reveals stacks of illegal copies of DVDs as well. When Daru hacked into their email, we found out that the scalper was also selling illicit copies of software. If the contents of the warehouse were made public, there'd be no way for them to continue doing business. I quickly removed the item I'd prepared for this very moment. Alpaca Seven Gear. Sarsado Snake. God damn it. Why does he keep whispering this shit? An improved version of future gadget number four, Mode Snake. <sighs> I take a breath to calm myself before flipping the switch on Salsed Snake. Wow. Smoke gushes out, tripping the alarms in Radio Kaiken. The sprinklers begin to spray water down from the ceiling, soaking the entire inventory of the warehouse. The police and fire department should be on their way, thinking that there's some sort of fire. And when they do, they'll catch wind of the illegal DVDs. Yes. What is she doing here? Huh? A silhouette comes running down the hallway in pursuit of Mayuri. She's on the verge of becoming a hostage again? And wait, isn't that the person who was handing out cash to folks in line at Yodobai- Yodobashi? Excuse me. Normally, this is where I'd use my alpaca power to fight. But I have no idea what the future has in store. Plus, if there's any chance of Mayuri being captured, I'm not sure what I can do here. Mayuri! Hack! Wait, what is she doing here, man? Did she follow us? I grab her hand and rush down the hallway as fast as I can. The scalper tries to give chase, but. <laughs> It's not a fire, though. The man is engulfed in the smoke from the Salsid snake and can't move. That smoke contains irritants derived from salsa. Once it finds its way into your system, it's impossible to act normally. And unlike the mode snake, it's extremely difficult to remove the source. <laughs> Again, not exactly sure what she was doing here. I rushed down the stairs, grasping the hand of my hostage, Mayuri. Far, far away from the evil organization, we continue running further and further. We'll run as far as it takes. Wowzers. Yeah, I think. Uh, part time warrior. Everyone has things that they want to forget. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I think I have an idea of what's going on here. This Okabe was brought into this world line that did have Kirisu and Mayuri still able to stay alive and everything, but that dystopia will still become a thing. I'm thinking. That this Okabe came from a world line where he never met Kirisu, but this technology was here, so he's just using it to his advantage. That's my prediction. We'll leave it at that. My predictions never really work out all that well. So, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, any other fancy jazz, and I will see you all in the next episode. Take it easy.